Alright, so I'm uh, going to do a demo for you on how the Wiimote can pick up the IR glasses I've built. These are the glasses, and there's a rough lanyard that they attach to. The program is going to ask me to press either one or two, one being the, the number that cancels the program so it stops it from head tracking so you can use your cursor, and two being the one that calibrates it, and it'll run through a series of steps which will ask me to turn my head to the left and turn my head to the right. That's finding about, uh, to the extent at which my head can turn because it will vary depending on how close I can get to the camera or how far I can get away from the camera. Um, and then it will run the sound of a lightsaber which will mean that it has calibrated properly. Now if the, if the IR glasses aren't turned on, which I'm going to do uh, just to show you how it works, it will tell me please turn on the IR glasses. Okay, so let me just show you how these Look, this is the lanyard, just to make it simple, down here, these the glasses, and the lanyard clips into place. Yeah. There's a simple off and on switch here, and along the side these are the resistors which allow me to get enough power running through each LED for them to work properly. Uh, like I said in my documentation, this works pretty far away. Pretty close up. Alright, so you understand what's happening in the scene here. This is the Wiimote, which is pointed outward, and then this is the, the computer screen, which I'll start up running Unreal Tournament 2004, uh, minimize it, and run over to the side here. Oh, the program's still running. Run over to the side here and turn on the program, at which point it'll prompt me to go through the startup process. Alright, so as you can see in my last documentation video, um, that walkthrough of the building was a bit glitchy, but that's nothing to do with the program. I was just kind of sticking to the floor a bit as that model was made uh, a while back, and it's a bit small. And like I said in my documentation, I had to scale that one up a little bit because uh, the door sizes are actually only uh, 6.4 feet tall. So um, I, I imagine in a normal building situation, it won't be a problem. Turning left and right and looking up and down was a little bit slow. Uh, that's fully customizable though. I had it set down really low because I was sitting close to the screen when I was doing the initial coding. Um, but that can be tweaked with a smoother variable that I've highlighted in the code. Also, uh, when you turn your head past the defined left and right, uh, when done in the calibrating settings, it goes through a rotation function and that's set down really low right now. So I just found it kind of uh, annoying when I was rotating really fast every once in a while. One other thing of note is the, um, the turning left and right has a rotation function in it, but I didn't feel it was necessary to have a rotation function for looking up and down because the extent of a human head looking up, it's pretty good. No one's going to be craning their head up to look up you know, a 200 meter tall building. Uh, 
but that that is addable in the future if if need be. I've worked over those glitches and I had to use a bunch of coding tweaks. Uh, it was actually only looking at one side of the IR glasses. Uh, the problem was when I was calibrating the two, looking up and down was having some problems. Also, I had my character set to walk permanently <laughs> because I, I looked online and uh, the run speed of the character in Unreal Tournament by default is about uh, six kilometers an hour, which is the speed of about a, a 400 meter dash runner. So uh, you don't want someone running like that through a building. But the problem that causes is in a building um, that's as janky as the one I was walking through, it's got uh, a lot of little steps and stuff, and if the step is too large, which it is near the entrance way, uh, you have difficulty getting over top of those because uh, the walk function is designed to allow you to walk up to the edge of a cliff without fear of falling over.